So I just want to point out that this is the second time I've tried making a video like this because the first two times were either chaotic or just aggressive and they're just too long to explain. And I just want to make this short, sweet, and simple just for everyone at home and everyone I know to understand where I'm coming from from this. So I want to start from the beginning. A few days ago, I made a community post on my YouTube because I got that unlocked recently, uh, explaining the fact that there is another person out there in the Hispanic community, also by the name of Mordo, who goes by, if I'm correct, Mordo Funa, if I'm correct. And basically, I've gotten a message from some guy from a few months back, and another one from just recently, telling me about this guy, and they were warning me, or either they got confused thinking I was him. I like to confirm that I am not either Hispanic or Mexican or anything like that. I am full-blown American, as you can see. I'm from my skin. I'm white. <laughs> but no. Uh, so this guy is from the Hispanic community, and he has done a bunch of bad, crazy shit, and he is done. I'm not going to go into detail, but I will share some of the comments that I've gotten from the people who warned me about them. That way you have a bit of information about it. So from what I'm showing you right now, these are the comments I've gotten from some people explaining the fact that I have been warned about him. And so there's that. If you want to find more information about it, I recommend looking it up because I don't want to go into more detail about it because I just want to get, I just want to get straight to the point. But if you're going to find information, you might have to translate it some because... Most of it's probably going to be like in Spanish. Again, he's from the Hispanic community. So I made a comment about it because I'm going to change my name to the Great Mordo for the time being. Well, hopefully I was expecting that everyone would just understand and it would just be a normal, you know, day. Until someone came around and just came up to me saying that I told someone to take off their clothes. I was, I was confused by the fact and I couldn't be able to elaborate with them because they deleted their message. Not only until a few days later, they came back to me with a video calling me out about it. And the person I told this to was Koji. Now, if you guys know, Koji is a good friend of mine, and he's I pretty much have been friends with him since middle school. And if you guys are aware of both me and his channels, we collaborate together, and we've done stuff together. We're, like, really good friends. Kind of like a Drake and Josh kind of, like, do it. That's like I like to see it. We're, like, brothers, but, like, not really. So, I told him that as, like, a joke, and I will share the comment I've got here right now. The context of it was that I said, hey, guys, Tony Stark here, because James likes to quote that a lot on our dubs over at Space Chris 7. Uh, again, I'm always over there if you guys want to go check them out, because if I'm not here, I'm probably over there. But, I just want to point that out. And normally, if you guys have ever seen the Tony Stark Explains jokes, you'd know where this is going. There was, and of course, I said, there is no joke, take off your clothes. Because if you guys are aware of the meme, there's no meme, uh, take off your clothes. They like the Obama one. There's probably like some other stuff with a different impersonation. But... Someone took that, out of context, they took that and thought I was actually being serious about that and telling them to take off their clothes. Again, it's a, it was a meme. I'm not sure if this guy is aware of the meme or he's just, he's just, he just wants to play dumb and just start shit. So clearly, from what happened is that he took, he made a video about that screenshot. He took a screenshot of that conversation and made me look like I was the bad guy here. Again, I also want to point out, this is a meme. I've heard a lot of people say it. People have made shit posts on it. People would be aware of the whole take off your clothes thing. Hell, there's even a song in Twisted called Take Off Your Clothes. Take off your clothes, princess, take off your pants. Because, you know, it's a parody of Aladdin. But, of course, he didn't take that kindly. So, you know, a shit, shit kind of started. So, the first video I made, I was kind of like in panic, but I kind of calmed down a bit afterwards. So, me and Koji, of course, we went up to this guy, we went up to his video saying, Hey, buddy, it was all a misunderstanding, it's a joke, people say it all the time, it's a normal thing, people say, we, this is the kind of normal conversation we have to each other. 
So it's okay. You don't need to panic. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a predator. I know this guy. He's not a viewer. He's not a victim. He's a good friend of mine. From the comments I'm about to show, you can see this goes downhill very quick because the moment I explain, I, I we explain it to him, he doesn't want to believe us. I tried to, I tried approaching him calmly. Me and Koji both did. We both went up to him saying there was a big mistake. He didn't take that kindly. So, with that, he just breaks down on us and pretty much overreacts. Clearly starting more shit. This is the conversations we had both on my end and on his end. Because there's like a bunch, there's like sets of this. And heck, there are, there were some few people that actually defended me. Like, uh, Depressed Ouija, ZPTube, one of the people that I know who I was talking about Moto Funa with. Clearly, some of those messages were deleted. I'm pretty sure he probably did that just to cover up some shit. But I can confirm people were defending me in my honor. And the worst part is that when he made the video, he went into my comment section and went out to everyone that replied and just spammed this video to everyone. He spammed it to random viewers. He spammed it to uh, Cannonball King. He's a good viewer of mine. I really appreciate him supporting me all the way. If you know who you are, you're fucking cool. He even, he even did this to, you know, Waltman13. He replied to Waltman13, who was a really good friend of mine. He could also defend me. He would also he would know who I am and know I wouldn't start shit like this. But he replied to our conversation as well. Luckily, I deleted all the comments I could find of him and blocked him to where he never does that again. He can dislike this video all he wants. All I'm doing is pointing out the truth here. So yeah. They know who I really am. They've seen my true side. I've had they people know me very well and no I wouldn't do shit like this. I've I've said a lot of dumb shit when I was young. I will admit I've said a bunch of bad shit to people. I've raged at people, overreacting. I've I got mad. I've said some toxic shit to people, but I've learned from those mistakes. I've learned from those and evolved to be a better person. Because I don't want to go back that way. Because most of my anger issues, I feel like I get that from, personally, my family. I don't want to go in more depths, but I just, I'm just, just, just know that. Um, but I would admit, I, I would be aware if I'd done some bad shit. And I would take responsibility for it. If I were to be a pedophile, I would know when I would fuck up. And I would actually stop what I'm doing and actually, you know just just give up because I clearly fucked myself over and I know when I would fuck myself over I would not give into it and be like I don't want to make this video I would go straight up to the point and admit my actions and leave I am very self aware and I would actually do that if that were to be the case I would never cover it up I would never hide from it I would never run from it I would admit to my actions and take my leave. But again, this was all a meme. So clearly, I was never in the wrong here. This person took it the wrong way, and he's making a big deal about it. So I pretty much just said, you know what? Believe what you want to believe. Just know you're in the wrong. You're making stuff up. You're kind of, you're being idiotic about it. I'm trying to be calmly here, but I will say, though, he was, he, he's just, it was just some, I can't believe I had to put up with idiots online. I never thought I would put up with so much idiotic people. I've had people who've either tried to despise me or hate me or start shit with me, like Savage. If you guys remember him, I've, he was, he was a good friend of mine at one point. Things kind of got a bit rocky and we kind of, you know, we kind of had a heated moment. And he called me out about it, and, you know, I take, I said, you know what, fuck off, and I made my leave. So we moved on. I'm pretty sure he moved on, I moved on, he's probably doing his own thing, so I'm, so, whatever. If he still hates me, or if he's probably, probably forgotten about me, so I really wouldn't care, it's fine. I moved on, I'm doing better than I was back then. There was another guy by the name of Sewa, but I think from what Koji said, 
it was a parody account, like a troll account, uh, Chills made. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'm kind of disappointed that I found out about that, that that was Chills this whole time, and not some random guy online, because Chills and I are cool. So, Chills, if you're hearing this, don't do that again, because I rarely thought you were actually being serious, because that was, I didn't find that funny. I didn't, I really did not find that funny. But now here you are, your friendly killer, or however you're pronounced. So I'm just like, you know what? Believe what you want to believe. I'm not, I'm not falling for it. I'm not picking a fight. I'm not throwing shit. And so I just left him alone. He can say whatever he wants, but he's just, he'll just, he'll just believe what he wants. Or so I hoped I would move on. As of today, he made a new video calling me out a bit more, and he started making fake news. He spread lies, he spread fake comments. At first, I thought he was impersonating me, but no. He edited, he edited some of the comments and replies I made with other people and made it sound like I was being very sexual. I'm here to point out that those were photoshopped and edited from what I saw in his video. I will have it be the first thing you see the moment you click on this thing to prove my point. And now I want to prove to the point that those comments were fake and photoshopped. And he also did that to Koji as well. And I'm going to share that off as well from here. At this moment on my computer, I was editing those e photos. I'm editing them together to where I can show off the proof to where they are official and they are fake. So, taken from these com these screenshots that I've taken and from what I've edited together, uh, the left side is the official comments I've made and the right side are the fake ones this person has made on me. Editing my words around and replacing it with sexual replies. Even, he also did it to two good friends of mine, Steam Ward and Citizen Hal. And if you guys are aware, I'm part of the YTP community. I'm aware of these people, and these guys are friends of mine. You literally went up to my friends' comments. Well, not literally, but you went to comments I've had with my friends and edited them around to where I was being sexual with them. I want to point out that they know me very well, and they would know I wouldn't do this. So, the fact that you did that makes me think you're gonna have them turn on me. Which, 
in the end, you're not winning this fight. You're making up fake lies. You're making up all this plagiarism shit. This this feels this shit feels like journalism. Like you're really trying to find every single detail or trying to make up stuff just to take me down. <laughs> it's not gonna work. So you can try all you want. There are people that I know that can defend me and know who I am to where they know I wouldn't do this. So I'm actually putting my foot down about this and coming out with this because I'm not just going to let this stick around and have people believe all these lies. So I am, that's why I'm making this video. I'm here to draw the line. And I'm here to put an end to it. This is probably the last time I'm going to talk about this. Because I don't want most of my videos just to be full of this feed. But you can believe all you want. You can believe that I did this. Or I didn't. It's your choice. But just know. You're making up lies. And people are not falling for it. Because they know who I am. I will say, people, cancel culture or are, are crazy people. Don't get up, don't eat, especially when it comes to people making false accusations. From what I've learned, I've learned a lot about, you know, people with anime profile pics. And especially this guy does have one. So, clearly, yeah, that proves a point. With From what my friend told me, uh, Patrick, people with anime profile pics, they're known to make false accusations. So, this shit can happen. This shit, shits like this happens. And I'm now one of those victims of, I'm now one of the victims of being accused of shit I didn't do. People make sex jokes all the time. People will say a lot of stupid horny shit, just as a laugh. But you've gone to the point where you took it too far to the point where I'm actually, this is, this is how I am. I'm actually being horny for people. I'd also like to mention the fact that I was being a pedophile to Koji. I am actually very younger than him. I'm like, I'm 18 years old. He is 19. And the fact that you call us both ped pedophiles, especially to the fact I said that to him, we're actually at the legal age to where if he even could consent, he could. Like, there'd be nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying that we're a thing. Actually, I actually have someone, but I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you, because that's personal. You don't need to know that. But I do have someone. I am taken, and it's not him. I've There's people that I know, Koji knows, that meme off the fact that me and him are a thing. We kind of laugh it off, but sometimes it can go too far. But too far to where we don't hate them. They wouldn't go too far to expose it. I don't mean to bring that up, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying my, I'm just spitting my facts. But no, we're, the fact that this all started, like, even if I were to say, say that to him, and if that were to be, if he was the victim, we're at the age of, cons we're at the legal age to where that could happen. So clearly, there was no pedophilia. There was no, there is, there was no sexual attention it was all just for shits and giggles and was all just for laughs and again a lot of people say all the time especially my good friend space tree he's known to be a shit poster and you know he can be a bit of a he i just i can't describe him but you know he he's he's just william he's just william he's he's just he can be you know smart at it and he can say it will normally say stuff like, take off your clothes or something like that. You don't see him getting canceled for saying it, but no, no, I have to be, I'm the one who says it. It comes out of my mouth, and it's like, ooh, that's bad. No, that's bad. You can't say stuff like that. I'm going to cancel you now. You are exposed. There are other, like, there are other people out there that have ever told someone to take off their clothes as a laugh. Why don't you go bug them and not me? Oh, wait, don't, because you're going to start full shit. So, yeah, I'm here to put my foot down. I'm here to address this. I'm here to 
just put an end to this because this this has gone too far and it needs to stop. And I want everyone who is seeing all this understand where the hell I'm coming from and what the hell is going on here. That way there's a more brighter, more understandable view from it, especially coming from me. Because if you because I know you guys know me very well and I would not do stuff like this. So yeah. And again, this is the last time I'm going to be talking about this guy because at this point, I'm I'm done. I don't want to talk to him anymore. I'm not listening to him anymore. Uh, just saying, um, I know you are aware of the stuff he's done. Do not send any more stuff from me. I want you to just move on from this. Just ignore him. Because if, I, if we just all ignore him, we'll probably just stop. Because no one's, because no one's going to believe you. Or should I say believe this guy? Because clearly he's making up false shit and it's it's just in the wrong. So again, I don't want to hear any more from this guy. If you guys bring him up in the comment section, I will remove it because I want to ignore it, block it out of my head, and move on. And that's what I'm going to do because out of this video, there is going to be no more talk about him. I may bring him up as like a br I may bring him up briefly here and there. But as of this point, I, I, I just want to, I just want this to end. And I apologize for everyone on Twitter, YouTube, and Discord for me ranting about this because it's been pissing me off a bit. But I'm gonna talk about this calmly because I don't want to start shit. I'm not here to pick a fight. I'm not here to start a war. I'm here to end it and make my point clear. So, that's it. Again, I'm, I'm done talking about him. This is the last time I'm bringing him up. And I'm moving on to better stuff. Because I have other things I'd rather be doing than putting up with this. I got work to do. I got stuff to edit. I got things I have with other people. And I have better things and better, brighter things I'd rather be doing than sitting on my ass fighting with this kid. So yeah, just know that this guy... If just if just ignore him, just if honestly report him if you could. That way it can put a stop to it, and just just know I didn't do anything wrong. He's just making shit up. So for everyone who's made it this far, I appreciate it for you to stick around and listening to me and understand where I'm coming from. And again, this is the last time I'll talk about it. And hopefully I'll be back to my regular posting content than than this so yeah again thank you all i appreciate it and hopefully you understand where i'm coming from and just know don't trust this guy i get all okay i'll see you all later peace